Hello Zebrahurd, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we defeated Cleavar. It was very exciting, very intense. And before we move on with stuff in today's episode, I did want to explore the town a little bit more. You can see our main quest there, but there is a couple of side quests waiting around for us. So I figure before we get too much going on, we should get those done. So let's get started with that. We have a villager over this way at the photo booth. Got to Jero. Hello. Ah, just a person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you could bring me. Sure thing. I've been trying to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon, but no one around here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps you're all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo, and it gave me a brilliant idea. Oh, it's a Baneary. Yeah, we've been in that area, just in the last episode. See how fluffy it is? How adorably soft? How irresistibly impossibly cuddly? Once people see a Pokemon like this in a photo, they'll all want to have their portraits taken together with it. But I need to get a better shot of it than this one. If you find one, could you please bring it here? The Pokemon in the Woodland photo. So we actually already have a Baneary, so hopefully I can show that to you. I don't know if I have that on me or if I need to go to the thing. I think I have to go to the little pasture here to get it. So that should be fine. See, I just have to talk to you real quick. See, so yeah, Baneary will switch you out with Bibarel because we don't really need Bibarel right now. So we'll do that. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's do Dust Ox. Thinking about it, because we did need Bidu for something. We need a Bidu for one quest. So there's Baneary. We'll put Dust Ox or this Baneary isn't as good. I think I'll do this one because I don't know if they'll need it. Like if they'll keep it for good or if they just need to take a photo of it. Because sometimes we'll do that. We'll give them a Pokemon and they just keep it. But while we're out here, let's talk to a couple other people. Like you right over here. The bonds between Pokemon and people. This is Bellamy. Oh my, you, you know, you remind me of somehow my grandmother. She always was always friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel the same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime, measuring your compatibility. Can we do this now? How about it? Ready to show me how friendly you are with those Pokemon of yours? So I guess I just show him a Pokemon. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Aw, well that's cool. I don't really know why, but we get a rare candy. Hey, shall I see how compatible you and your Pokemon are? Uh, not right now. Come by again if you yearn to know how compatible you and your Pokemon are. I don't know what the benefits of that are. I guess maybe we just battle better. Oh, there's one of the Bidoof. So I already have one in my party, so I should be able to interact with you. It's eating, <laughs> it's eating the fence. There we go, so that should make it feel safer. Because we had missed the other one because I didn't have the Bidoof in my party. I only had the Bibberol. Caught it, great going team. So there's one down, two more left to find. And what about you over here? Oh hey, survey guy. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? Uh, be super brave or wicked smart? Uh, we'll do wicked smart. Nope. I mean, I guess it's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as 100 people. I really want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. Bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps and all. Do you think you could give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? Sure, what it takes to be awesome. I have five, so give me five Pokeballs, sure. You handed over five Pokeballs. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a reward just for you. Some grit dust. 
It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you wanna know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zisu, she knows all about it. What it takes to be awesome complete. So there's another mission done, get some grit dust. Anyway, I'm gonna practice loads with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that'd be a great partner for me, let me know so I can go catch it. Will do. So there's still more to do around here. Still looking for that last Bidoof. So hopefully we can find that sometime soon. You never know where it could be, so I'm gonna look all over the place. Oh yeah, there's definitely more people to talk to around here. Because the one was by our little den. But I don't see any more around here. It's gotta be around somewhere. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could you, could I ask you f to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking a niece from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. The search for the bitter leaves. Okay. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Gotta talk to you, yeah, okay. So, I don't think we have that at the moment. I'll have to look for it for sure. What about you? Oh, you were the guy with the balloons. Hey, sport, interest you in some target practice? All you've gotta do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out depending on how well you do. If you manage to break up 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, just let me know. I'm usually to be found in the practice field. Okay, aim for the big leagues. We'll do that at some point then. Oh, you're gone. Got to score 10,000 points or more at the target practice scheme. Who is this, Pyra? Hey, listen to this. I saw something out in the wilds. Oh, it was incredible. What was it? The thing I saw was a will-o'-the-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking in on Winsep Run the other night, it leaped at me like, ooh. At it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw the will of the wisp with my own two eyes. Oh yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? <laughs> Good luck with that. That's a little mean. It's so frustrating he won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're at the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch Will the Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? The mysterious Will of the Wisp. Sure, we'll give that a try. That sounds really interesting. Last place I saw the Will of the Wisp was on Winsip Run at nighttime. Please catch it. Is that a Pokemon then? Huh. Not we're aware of a Pokemon called Will of the Wisp. Still looking for that last Bidoof. But I guess we do have some people out here in the farm to talk to. Could it be out here maybe? I'm not seeing it. They like to eat wood, so I'm trying to pay attention to the fences, the walls, but for now we'll talk to you. Hey, you're in the survey corps, ain't ya? Just a feller I was looking for. I'm working to make these fields here bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey corps. We're all in this together after all, right? So if you have any ground type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Help wanted plowing the field. So we would need a Geodude, which I don't think we currently have. Maybe? Oh, uh, you got a ground type Pokemon? Oh, so we could just choose from our collection here. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, just go ahead and send you a Geodude. All yours. We gotta give up this Pokemon for good though. So we'll have to make sure we catch another one when we're out today. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help and expand the fields. Might as well get started. Wowee, it's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing, man? <laughs> I think it's uh, what it was made to do. And it seems we're done. What a trooper. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. It's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field for a while longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap and a different Pokemon to be our pollen partner. All right, sounds good. Help wanted pond the fields complete. We got more fields available for farming, which is real nice. 
So there's another quest done. Good to see that progress being made. Um, I still don't know where that last Bidoof is. We'll have to keep looking for sure. Don't see anything out this way. I mean, I know where the one was. Oh, could be over here. Hmm, we'll poke around real fast. You never know, they're real sneaky. I don't see you back. Oh, it's one of the flames. Touch. So this is cool, we need to find a bunch of these flames. I thought these only started during nighttime. There we go. There are five wisps remaining in this area. That's really cool. So we'll certainly have to work on that. No bidoof around here. Because it seems like they're at the gnaw in the wood, right? So I'm trying to look out for that. Oh, is that it down there? I think I might see it. Or is that just a wooden bucket or something? <laughs> yeah, okay, that was like a, a bunch of logs. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Food is sort of blended in this area, don't they? Okay, uh, there's one more person to talk to over this way. Has this Bidoof that we scared off earlier returned? No, they haven't. Okay, it is what it is. Let's just talk to you. You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather have I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. That it would, unfortunately, Tao, Tao Ha refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say. So would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty greens as a token of goodwill. Two or three stalks ought to do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. Getting a hold of new wares. I don't know how to get that though. Hardy greens, try to sweeten up Tao Ha with a gift so he might sell new wares to the general store. And we also haven't checked out this store. A fine day to my friend, care to per peruse our top notch selection of rarities? Items you won't find at the general store. So not too much of what I need, I don't think. Well, good to keep in mind. And what do you sell? Same thing? Hi there, got a special product in stock. A green cake set, yours for the bargain price of $2,000. What is it you ask? Well, that's for you to find out after you buy it, what do you say? Uh, sure. You know what, let's take caution of the wind on this one. Great choice, all yours then. You tamed 10 green cakes. A cake might by combining greens with a cake lore base. These cakes are potently effective at attracting Pokemon that dwell and wander among the fields. I'll be long before our next great find. Come again soon, yeah? All right, 10 green cakes were sent to your storage since there's no room in your satchel. That's fine. Okay, I'm not seeing any of the Bidoof around. We're just gonna go and continue the main quest we've taken long enough around here, right? So I think we're gonna continue. Let's enter. Okay, so I guess we gotta go upstairs. Sounds good to me. I don't think we really need to talk to anybody else around here. I'm not seeing any of the markers, so we're good to move forward. Like I said before, I'm sorry that took a while, but it's always good to take on as many side quests as possible. So we just saw this character last episode. Hmm. So it com it's come to Ursa Ursaluna as well. This suggested even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I've received no word from Adaman or Irida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arizo. You did well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursa Luna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones who could, I, could, I could turn to about this. Ursa Luna's warden is Mistress Calibur of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded, <clears throat> bound by tradition. She's likely not to take kindly to outsiders meddling, meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Zebra. I order you to study Ursa Luna's Ursa Luna in the Crimson Mirror Lands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Thank you, all right. A new mission for us to go on then. Next area you will be sent to to investigate is the Crimson Mirror Lands. 
you will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Field lands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It's not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Rear lands on your own. Here is what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirrorlands known as the Salacion Ruins. That is where you'll find Urs Ursaluna's Warden. Okay. So I guess we're going there now. Head to the Salacion Ruins in the Crimson Mirrorlands to meet Calibar. Sounds like a plan. Is there also anything else we might have to take here on the board? Nothing here seems relevant to you, I guess not. Okay, so we have a lot to work on before we head out. How is my Pokemon team looking? We have the Bidoof out now. I think I want to change that to something that we want to evolve. That was good for, you know, running around town and trying to find stuff. But if we're not working on that anymore, then I guess we'll just uh, switch it out. Oh, you're back. So I guess I just had to go into a building and come back out. So I still need to find that third one. Before we go, I guess I'll do this. I'll, I want to try to finish this. So there's you. And where could the third one possibly be? I thought run through again. Caught it, great going team. Aha, there you are, hiding by the, the front gate that we first in our town in on the first episode. Okay, so now that we found you, That should be all three Bidoof, right? Caught it, great going team. So I think at this point we just have to run back and talk to Sumigi, or we can do it now. Uh, nice work, that puts all the little troublemakers safely in our custody. Custody. Uh, now to give them the old heave how. Hold on. Sanqua, who's this? It'd be a shame just to send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction core could find a use for him. Huh? You wanna keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused us so much trouble for the construction core. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is strict no chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork too. I guess so, good way of looking at it. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash with trees and rocks, just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meal, meals taste better after day's work, you know. <laughs> All right, well, they seem very interested. Just what I wanted to hear. Why is uh, Akari just standing and looking at me? <laughs> it's a little weird. Hmm, I'm not convinced this slot have it in them to do an honest day's work but if Sonic was watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. I'm sure it will. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Bothers and Bidoof, complete. We got a rare candy for it. Oh, I guess Akari was here for a different cutscene. Oh, hello, Zebra. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. Let's have a fine battle so I can go closer with Pikachu. So it looks like we're battling Akari now. I wish I could have switched out some Pokemon, but it is what it is. The Survey Core Akari challenged you to a battle. All right then, so Mime Gene to start things out with, I think Dartrix should be okay then. What level is our Mime Junior? 19, oh my gosh, okay. So we'll go with a strong style uh, Leaf Age, I think, to start things off. See how much damage that does. Oh, a lot of damage. You're gonna use hypnosis in return, which might end up confusing us or makes us drowsy. Oh, the Zen headbutt. Now that hurts. Are we gonna be awake to do a uh, agile style leaf age? I guess we will be. Nice. So they still have one more Pokemon after this, which should be Pikachu. So can I get the chance to switch out my Pokemon? Oh, interesting. It didn't even give me the option. Typically that's the thing it does. Oh my gosh, it's gonna attack twice in a row too. Okay, well that's not good. Weird, I guess it doesn't work that way in this game. Usually they give you the opportunity to switch 
between Pokemon at that moment. Okay, so we gotta be careful with what we choose here, because um, Pikachu is gonna be good against Zeravia. Luxio, obviously, can't really use Thunder Shock, but it might just be our best bet to pull out Luxio and just do bites over and over. All right, let's do Strong Style Bite. Ooh, not bad. They're gonna use Quick Attack. And it was a critical. I get to do that twice, please, no more critical. Okay, we're fine. Let's do a Agile Style Bite, just so we can get that off sooner. I think that'll be enough. What a tough battle. There we go. Feed the Pikachu. Battle decided. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. I mean, that's not a bad thing to observe. There we go, we do get some experience out. Unfortunate we couldn't get any for uh, Dartrex. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. You tried your best, I don't see why they'd be upset. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. For stealth sprays. Required materials, one Hopa Berry, and three Bugwort room Blooms. So, I've been working on studying the strange space-time distortions. You know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon. Two, if you plan to go into one, be careful about it. Now, time to head to the Mirrorlands camp. Okay, do we need to heal our Pokemon up, though? We might. Oh no, it looks like that actually did it for us. So before we head to the Mirrorlands, or the Meyerlands? I'm not really sure, sorry. Never really heard that word before. I'll have to look it up between episodes. Um, Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave with me? So, for sure I wanna get Bidoof out of here, since we've got that one mission completed. Who else do I wanna have instead? It'd be cool to have a ground type Pokemon but I don't really have any of those out here anyways. Maybe we'll try Drifloon. I think Drifloon evolves. Or we could try something like Krikatot. He's pretty low level. I have a several Krikatot. We actually already have Krikatoon, so maybe I don't need to do that. Um, Lots of options. You know what, let's go with Drifloon. Get a level 10 and a level seven. Up here is level nine. Okay, we use this one. There's a lot of options. There's also Psyduck as well, but I think we'll keep with this. We'll do Psyduck later. Okay. Well, there's a couple Pokemon. We'll work on evolving then. Should be a lot of fun. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. I will. Um. And here we are for Erezu's predicament. Head to the Slacian Ruins found in the Crimson Mirelands to meet Calaba. See a whole new area to explore. This should be fun. Crimson Mirelands. Here we are, my boy, the Crimson Mirelands. An area teeming with poison wielding Pokemon and plenty of other b besides. I've heard about your mission, Zebra. If you're looking for the Slaceon Ruins, they're off that way. Okay. Oh, I see the entrance, whoa. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a, there's a little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best as you can. But be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If odd Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Definitely something I need to go do. Uh. And it looks like there's even some people to talk to out here, so. Bera. Hey there, you've got, you're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a request for you if you've got some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has this gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. 
I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. You think you can complete Roselia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? Absolutely. A beautiful rose. Request 30. So we actually have a Roselia in uh, Shining or, or Shining Pearl, yeah. And there's a Boodoo, which evolves into Roselia, so we might want to just try to catch that for now. Switch over to our Pokeballs, which I'm actually really low on Pokeballs, so while we're here, let's craft some stuff real quick. So I have the materials for this. So let's go ahead and craft like a good, I'd say 40 of them would probably be nice. I'll need to collect a lot more. And I guess we already could craft some heavy balls, feather balls, that kind of stuff, but I think I'll leave that for later. Oh yeah, there's the stealth spray we just got the recipe for. So for this, when used in the field, this spray muffles the sound of your footsteps and makes wild Pokemon less likely to notice you for a short time. So that might be good for sneaking up on Pokemon and such. But yeah, I wanna go catch up Badoo, but I could also toss, whoa, look at that. That's a new Pokemon as well. Just wanted to try to get that real quick. What did we get your attention? Oh my, oh, you're a rough one. There we go. This is Carnivine. Sort of scary. Let's try an Agile style Gus against Carnivine. Let's see how much damage it does. A decent amount. It can use Absorb, which is not very effective because, you know, grass flying. We're gonna try another Agile style because we're just trying to get them down to the yellow so we can throw that Pokeball out. Oh, that was good, that was good. Oh my. Does that heal it up just a little bit so I think we'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna switch over and throw a Pokeball. Come on, come on. Oh wow, I can't believe it jumped out of that. That was actually pretty crazy. It's gonna use Absorb again which might actually get it up to the yellow. Not quite. Okay, this Pokeball has got to do it, right? We do also have the Feather Balls, but I think this would be a better move. Right now is just to try to catch it. It's so low. Come on. There we go, we caught Cardivine. Very cool. Good to see it. Number caught, one out of one. And that's gonna be some you know productivity for the uh, the Pokedex, which is good to see. Okay, so let's go back over here because I wanted to catch up Boodoo. There's a Psyduck again over that way, but I'm not too worried about that. So let's see, I might be even able to sneak up on Boodoo. I don't think they'd have a wild temperament, you know what I mean? Uh, so, got it. Come on. Nice. Boodoo caught, one of one, and that's a level 19 already. Got some hardy cranes, we've been looking for these. That's exciting. So it looks like we actually got a couple of things done for that, for Boudou. Good to see. So yeah, it'll be a lot of fun exploring this area. Whoa. Oh, I don't have enough space. I have to work on that then. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff out here. I didn't even realize. You know what I might do real quick? Since we're so close and we're gonna be exploring a lot, I might as well pack some stuff away then if we can. So, back over this way, I will put away some of this, sure. Definitely that, I don't really need that at the moment. Move into storage. I don't think I need the iron chunk. Got it. Hmm, the rare candy, the, the grit stuff, that's all good stuff that I'll definitely be using at some point, just not now. And I think next time we go back, we'll definitely talk to that one guy about expanding our inventory a little bit more. The spoiled apricorn. Especially since the game isn't quite difficult enough that we need all this stuff right now. We're doing pretty well with the materials we already have, but that should clear some things out so that we can go back to exploring. Or let me ride on a uh, weirder. That certainly helps. I'll grab that. Oh, was there something more? Oh, it's another voodoo. I scared it, scared it off, I'm so sorry. Or did I? Ready, toss, boom. Will that be another catch? 
Yes, it will. We need to catch one more for more Pokedex progress. I'll certainly work on that. We're sort of going the long way around if we want to reach that. Oh, there's a Pokemon up here. Let's see that real quick. Oh, and there's some Paris around. Whoa, you're new? Well, no, it's a Burmy, but or Burmy, but it's a different Burmy. Um, okay. This should be super effective. We'll do the Agile style so it doesn't hurt too much. Whoa, okay, there we go, there we go. Struggle bug shouldn't do too much of Dartrex. The stats were lowered. And I wanna try a Feather Ball, because there's no way Burmy's a heavy Pokemon. Where's it going? <laughs> Trying to get away, so let's catch it quick. Come on, come on. Got it. So there we have it, our first catch with a Feather Ball. Burmy. Also gave us some Orange Berries and Vivichoke. Always good to see those. We do have a Paris over this way. Paris, once again, usually have some pretty wild temperament, right? Oh, the music here is cool. Ah, it jumped out. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna try to catch whatever that is. Real quick. Same thing over here. The side deck I'm gonna leave B. I don't have to bother it. Oh, there's our last Boodoo. Trying to be real careful. Oh, it's sleeping. I didn't even realize. That should be an easy catch in, right? Oh, but it's still got out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, it's raining out now too. Please turn around. I'm not here. Don't worry about me. I'm on the rock. Okay, right, let's go for it. Come on. Ah, come on. Of course, the last one I need is gonna be a little bit more difficult. That's how those things work, isn't it? Anyways, whoa. Was that Psyduck? Somebody's mad at me. We've got another Carnivine. That's scary. Or was it, whoa, was it? No, yeah, it was the Psyduck. I don't know why the Psyduck's picking a fight with me. What is this? This is the Caster Fern. Could try for Dartrex with uh, Carnivine here. Should be fine. Ready, fight. Uh, since we don't need to catch you, we could try a strong style gust. See how much damage that does. If it gets low enough to catch, I might as well try. But it's not something I necessarily need. The acid spray, oh, that's painful. You know what? Oh, the absorb too, why did they get that? Okay, because we strong style. I was like, why did they get to attack twice? Okay, let's not risk it. Let's just try to get rid of you then. And then I definitely need to kill Dartrex up. There it is. And that's level 20 for Dartrex, which is pretty exciting. Okay, first things first. Uh, where are my potions? So I have my normal potions here. Should be good enough for Dartrex. Use one more. Good stuff. And I probably want to switch to some Pokemon I'm looking to evolve to start grabbing materials, you know what I mean? This over there. Also got some Cricket Todd, another Psyduck, but if we're close to our main quest, I guess we should focus on that. There's a guard out here too. Dodging is everything, everything. When a wild Pokemon's lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. Yep, I try my best to dodge when I can. There's somebody deep in here. I guess this is the person we need to talk to. Hello. I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. Oh? Now, would you look at that? You have a Celestia flute, or cel Celestic flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I like their vibberal. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure you may, sure, I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. You did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission after all. 
Well, I mean, if you had any better ideas, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> and you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan, for that matter. That young lady, Erozu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay, well, that didn't turn out well. They don't seem to like us very much. Ah, Zebra, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. Okay, so I guess we'll get a battle to get our minds off it. Uh, a battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. Yeah, it's sort of a shade to see Calibos is not interested in working with us at all. So, Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to a battle. Seeing how Togepi again. We have Drifflin out in front right now. I don't know how much of a battle that's gonna be. I might have to change that out. Uh, Pokemon. And I don't know what's good against Togepi. I think it's normal types. So we don't really have too much that's particularly good against it. We'll just do Jartrex. Good reliable. Their Pokemon are quite high level. Maybe we should spend some more time just battling, leveling Pokemon up that way. Okay, so we'll try Strong Cell Leaf Age. Hope for the best. Okay, more than halfway. Draining Kiss is a bit scary. They're gonna get a lot of that health back now, right? Oh, yeah, all of it. Yikes. And they're doing it again. This is the huge risk with Strong Style. Okay, uh, maybe I should just do Leaf Age and then heal? like an Agile style, so I can do that. We can get some attacks in and still use a potion. Items. Use potion on Jar Tricks. Heal it right up. Took so use Calm Mind, which will raise your offensive stats. So far, Volo's given us a tough fight. Uh, we'll just use another Agile Cell Leaf Age, so I can combo that into something else. It's not much, but it's getting us somewhere. Draining Kiss again, though. What do I do about that? If it's just gonna heal itself up every time. Um, maybe I should switch to Luxio here and hope I can get myself a Paralyzation. That might be my best bet. This is a tough Pokemon, though. Togepi's a tough egg to crack. All right, we'll do Thundershock. If I can stack up the Thundershocks, even if they're Agile Saw, they might not do too much damage. But what it does do is it gives me the more chances to paralyze. But look at how much damage that does. This is insane. Fight, Thundershock. This is a really tough battle all of a sudden. Oh, called back Togepi. Gibble, oh, Gibble's scary. Um, that has no effect. Effective, effective. Um, I could try an Agile style bite. I'm a little worried here. This is really looking dire. What typing is Gibble? Oh my gosh, super effective. That's a ground type. Okay, I know what type it is now. We gotta switch out to Bleasel. Is it crown though? This isn't super effective, so fight. Let's just try Strong Cell, Water Jet, Aqua Jet. Oh, that was good, just not quite good enough. They're gonna use Agile Cell, so I'll be able to attack twice here with Bulldoze. Oh my gosh, please don't take out Weasel. Oh man, your Pokemon are so strong. Whoa, where'd you get these things? Okay, just quickly use Staravia, finish you off. But then we're back to fighting Togepi. Uh, we'll just do Gust, like a normal Gust. Should be enough to take you down, and it is. Here comes Togepi again. And just Calm Mind up the stats. This is gonna be close. Um, 
what has the highest power here is Aerial Ace. It's like, what if I just try to strong style Aerial Ace to finish you off? It does a good chunk, but not nearly enough. That Draining Kiss just comes back. What in the world do I do about that, you know? It just doesn't feel very possible to do anything. Um, let's use an item. For right now, I think just a potion on Staravia is the best I can do. Man, this is rough. Strong style as well, oh no. Strong style, Draining Kiss, no, that's just not fair. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. Well, if we're strong style, that means we should be able to attack a couple of times here, which would be good. I wonder if I should, let's get your flune out and try to throw some status effects here while we have a chance. Should've done that right from the beginning. Um, the target is hit with a weak telekinetic force to inflict damage. Target drowsy. Let's try this. I really need to make sure the target gets drowsy. We can make Tokibi fall asleep. That'd be huge. Tokibi grew drowsy, but not quite asleep yet. It's using Draining Kiss. I mean, the good thing is if it uses Draining Kiss on something of full health, hopefully that means that... Let's try it again. That it's running out of power points for that specific move. That might be my best bet here. <laughs> hey you, stop doing that. <laughs> I like how I can just walk around. That training kiss is too much. Okay, so we're gonna get Panuri out so I can heal Dartrix back to fall. Bolo's not messing around now. What is baby dolls? This lowers the stats. And we also have draining kiss. <laughs> I don't think it'll really change too much here. Uh, Maybe I'll do Agile Style Baby Doll Eyes. Once again, we're just trying to lower stats. We're trying to make you weaker. But it's still not asleep. Okay, so now we'll, while we're battling here, we're gonna heal you up. There goes that Draining Kiss, which doesn't matter too much yet, as you can see, because it's a full health. And it actually doesn't affect Veneri too much, so maybe we could just continually use Baby Doll Eyes to make your stats super duper loud. I think we found our strategy here. Offensive stats were lowered. It's too drowsy to move. Okay, this is where we, we fight. Swap Pokemon to Dartrex, but we just gotta hit you with everything we got. So it looks like we used some kind of strategy to win this one. Um. Which one has the most power? It doesn't really matter, they're both sort of the same. But let's try this out. Now if that Draining Kiss comes back out, this is gonna undo all of our work, so we just gotta hope for the best. There we go, come on. It used it again, I thought it was too drowsy to move, come on! It's not nearly as much as it was before though, that's for sure. Come on! There it is, we got it! Oh my gosh, what a battle! That was rough. And the unfortunate thing is we just don't get the experience with the Pokemon that got taken out. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. But Baneri's moves actually proved to be really useful there. I think we might want to keep Baneri and Drifloon in our team. Or at least find some very similar type of Pokemon. Such prodigious, prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stone wall fragment with your skill. It should be a cinch. Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Silesian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Oh no. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a tr trio of bandits that have even hit us ginkgo guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mitra's Kalabaugh is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but 99 years old. It's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Aw. 
So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myrland's camp, perhaps worth checking out. I guess so. Track down the shady bandits and reclaim the wall fragment they stole. Erezu's predicament. So we'll keep working on that and figure I'll catch up with these people. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Can I observe this? Investigate. There appear to be letter-like markings engraved in the stone surface. So hopefully we can get a better look at that once we get it back. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myrland's camp. Perhaps worth checking out. All right, well, we'll work on that for sure. In the meantime, though, I do want to explore more of this area. Hopefully get some of these Pokemon um, some more experience because I need that. See, so where exactly... Is that then? Or is this predicament? It's way back where we started. No, no, no. Okay, I see. So it's off that way. Okay, well, I think that's something we'll actually end up working on in the next episode. For now, if I can uh, battle some Pokemon, gather some experience in this. Whoa, is that a Ghastly? Or a Haunter, whichever one? We definitely want to catch you. Let's see if I can't. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, did I scare you off? Oh no, you're back, you're back. Do that. Okay, I got it. Oh, he's mad, he's mad. That was a mistake. Uh, Where'd you go? Oh, there you are, this is scary. Battle, battle, battle. Uh, Yeah, it is a ghastly. All right, they're gonna use Venoshock to start things out. Oh my goodness, it's super effective. Why does this keep happening? Uh, Let's try Luxia then. Come on. Go. That does not do nearly as much, so I think we're in a better situation now. We're going to try uh, just a normal Thunder Shock and see how much damage that does. A decent amount. Astonish. Might make uh, Luxu flinch sooner or later. I think we're just going to throw a Pokeball now. Come on. Nice, all right, we caught a Ghastly. Exciting. And that's a new one for us, good to see it. So let's switch back to Drifloon. Anything else we can catch around here like that? Whenever we see that kind of thing, gotta make the most of it. There's still another, uh, Carnivine, several of them actually. You need like a fire type, but a flying type should be good against them. Flying is good against grass after all, so Storavia should be able to get the job done. We are going to use an, uh, oh yeah, Strong Assault Aerially should do some good numbers. We're gonna find out. Oh, perfect. Can use Absorb. Get a little bit of that health back. I could try for a catch here. But that acid spray is not fun. Come on. But yeah, I've noticed that there's less battles in total in this game, but the Pokemon we do run into just pack a major punch. So I think it is good to take some time to do quests, to uh, gather lots of materials, all that such, such of things. Okay, boom. Throw that out. Oh no. I was the wrong one. There you go. Okay, so Carnivine wants to battle. I want to battle Carnivine. Best of both worlds, right? This one's level 18, so you think we'd have a higher chance of landing that one hit aerial ace on it? Especially now that we have a three level lead. And yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, good progress. Level 21 for uh, Luxio, level 16 for Drifloon. I don't want to go too far off this way. Just enough that maybe I can catch a couple things. There's a big rock barrier here. What do I do about this? Nothing, I guess. So there may be some spots I just can't quite explore just yet. I did see, I don't think I can reach it from here. 
Oh no, I can't, look at me. All right, uh. Can I get up here? No. No, I, I almost did. Is that something I'm supposed to be able to do? I think that this area might just be for later. But I did see one of those purple fires over there, so I was just trying to see what I could get out of it. That's okay. Even if we can't get over there for now, there's still more stuff to explore. What was that? Oh, here we go. Once again, I could pick this up, but having Pokemon pick it up will sometimes get them a bit of experience. So that's usually really worth it. So how are things looking for Carnivine? In terms of, oh no, not what I meant to do. I wanted to see the Pokedex entry for you. Carnivine zero? What? How is it zero? Oh, because I haven't cashed it in yet. Okay, I'm being silly. Um, So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six points in it so far. Hmm. So if we catch it one more time, that'll be a little bit more progress. You know what then? Sure. Go for it. I'm gonna do Gust for now. Actually, we'll do Aerial Ace. Just a normal Aerial Ace, not a strong style one. Oh, that was perfect. It's probably gonna do Absorb, yep, there it is. But I still think that's good enough that we could throw a Pokeball and probably catch it. But after this, our Pokemon are pretty beat up. We need to head back to the camp and heal up. Come on, got it. So there's another one caught. That'll be a little bit more progress. Let's hop back on our buddy here. There's another Ghastly. Oh, the Ghastlies are all over the place now that's nighttime. Good to know. We can even walk around in the water with a uh, weird ear. Pretty neat. But I'll get off for a second. Still trying to get stuff with Drifwind. Hmm. Yeah, since we're so beat up, I'm going to back up over here. And I guess, how do I heal from here? Do I do I talk to you? I could use a rest. Here you go. Perfect. And uh, talk to you. You've caught seven Pokemon. Can you report your findings? Yes. See, we caught a lot of stuff there. I still need to catch more in the next episode. We got a good chunk of money. Looking good. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm-hmm, I see most limiting update or Pokedex with the new data. So yeah, did we finish anything? I guess we completed uh, Badoof. Badoof has an unsophisticated face and is rarely flustered by anything. I think we already read that, so. There have been incidents involving Badoof sauntering into villages and gnawing on the houses without a single care. Uh, nothing else has been completed except for Dartrex. Regularly basks in the sunlight to gather power, presumably due to the frigid climate. Nonetheless, the edges of the blade the blade quills set into its wings are as keen as ever. We could Carnivine completed, which is awesome. Uh, though this is a plant Pokemon, it has a gluttonous and unruly temperament. Carnivine attacks its prey with a cavernous, or a cavernous maul wide open. Very scary. That's cool though. So closing in on the third star rank. Very exciting. So what to do now? I gotta go. Jolly good, keep up the fine survey work. All right then, so yeah, some good progress today. We got a good couple of side quests completed, caught some new Pokemon, even added some more stuff to our Pokedex entries. Uh, we'll keep going and try to find out who those, uh, that trio of people who stole the, the carvings were. That's gonna be interesting. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.